You know, everything that I create has an emotion first. Where the freshest water seeps out of the mountains and the wildlife is enormous. I really want that to say wolf, but then I want this to really say, I want this to really have the song developing and you know, coming from that deep place in this animal. It's all about spirit. It's all about energy. It's the driving force of life on this planet. It's about the water, it's about the wind, it's about the earth. And the unity of everything. Nothing can exist without the other parts. And we're so interwoven. I think that interwoven quality of all beings on this planet um, gives us all a connection to those other spirits. We might not have ever seen a moose, but when we do see the moose, we feel them. We feel their energy, we exchange energy. And I think in my artwork that those open spaces allow your energy to flow so fluidly through the pieces and you become one with what's going on there, if only for the briefest moment. I think it has a, a lyrical quality to it. She uses negative space in a way that I haven't ever seen another artist use it. There's a whimsy to her art that I appreciate. You know, I, I find an you know, whatever inspiration I end up, when that emotional thing happens, then I can feel the animal. I might want to create a horse, but if I, if I don't have a connection with the attitude that I want that horse to evoke, I can't even start. You know, there's just nothing there. And, um, you know, so really that's an interesting thing about the creative process. Many artists can look at a wolf and replicate what it looks like and make it look like a wolf. But I want it to look like a wolf, but I want it to feel like a wolf. I want it to have something more than that. I want to, I want it, I want it to speak about what I feel. I just sit down at my table and oftentimes there's a body part, like, you know, the chest of the horse when I've got that pride of you know, and that's what I want to show. When they see my sculpture, they'll, they'll feel what I felt when I was sculpting it. This is a whole art in and of itself. The two pieces of hers that we have that I love the best are the otter and the rolling thunder. And they, one of them sits in the window in our dining room and one sits in the window in our living room. And every time I come in, I have to smile when I see it. Um, I, it doesn't matter how often I look at them or whatever, there's always that almost a, a, a feeling of something I knew. I haven't seen before, and the little details, and the, I don't know, just, uh, it, she's an artist like nobody else I've ever seen. And we've collected a few, but her art is really special. But she's got a totally different style than anybody else, and that's what it's all about. You know, the design, the composition, and how you approach the subject. We recommend her to everybody we know. <laughs> My inspiration for each piece really has a lot to do with actually the body parts themselves. There's a real technical piece to it of, you know, where a muscle bulges, where a joint comes together, uh, the flow of the neck, um, the things that I notice in an animal, they give them beauty and they give them their, 
their own personality. Um, a lot of those things are really the things that in the end give the spirit to the animal. It's all about spirit. It's all about energy.